Hi everyone, welcome tonight to tonight's live. I'm so glad you can join us. We're going to do a, a couple of quick things tonight and we're going to get right into games. Um, I want to talk about patterns, so we'll talk about that during our games. Uh, the first thing though, if you are on here and you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I really need you to subscribe to help me out on my YouTube channel. And you can always share the video. There's a link below to share if you enjoy it and you want to share with friends. I also have, uh, I don't know if all of you know, I am an instructor for Mahjong and also Canasta. So I have a YouTube channel also all about Canasta. I'll be, I post a bunch of things on there weekly. So if you like Canasta or you play Canasta or you want to learn what Canasta is about, click on Canasta class and look for me. So again, you're on Mahjong class right now, and if you're interested in Canasta, go look for Canasta class. You can reach me um, at my email at mahjongclass at yahoo.com, both for Mahjong and Canasta lessons. If you have any questions, I would always happy to answer them. Reach out to me. Tonight, we're going to jump on to I Love Maj. They give a two-week trial. I'm going to give you three weeks if you use the code CB. So go ahead and try that tonight. Use the code CB. I also, um, if you go on my Facebook page, I always post uh, when there's sales on sets and things. Right now, if you go on my Facebook page, which is called Mahjong Class, you can find out about uh, the sale that's going on on Yellow Mountain right now. So you can click on that, and I have some codes on there uh, to uh, help you out. We have a few people on tonight, so let's say hi to Karen and Kathleen. Hello. Um, I think Kathleen mentioned that she made it onto I Love Maj leaderboard. So let's find out where the leaderboard is. So we'll start off with that tonight. On I Love Maj, you can go to the leaderboard by clicking on play. And the second one down is called Leaderboard. Let's see if we can find Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen is on here. She is right down here on the bottom, number nine. Congratulations, Kathleen. And those are the uh, ratings uh, for people who play weekly. You can um, keep track of your score. And those are um, the high score is Nora this week. So congrats to Nora. And then we have Kathleen who's on there weekly with me. Um, who uh, made the leaderboard. So congrats, Kathleen, how exciting. We're going to um, jump on. So I hope you make the leaderboard too and join the ranks of Kathleen. I, have, I don't play that often. I did play today at one o'clock, um, but I do not get a chance to play that often. I'm very busy teaching and um, it takes up my time during the day. So when I come home in the evening, I'm just trying to relax. Um, and kind of get away from Mahjong, but um, just to take a break. But uh, I love this platform. And so when I do have free time other than teaching, I will go on and uh, practice on here. So let's go to game launch. Oh, Kathleen, that's so sweet. Kathleen gave me a nice compliment. She said, thank you for teaching me to play well on this platform. Oh, I'm so glad you're learning different things and you're getting up there on the I Love Maj leaderboard. That's such an accomplishment. Thanks, Kathleen. We're going to play with bots tonight and we're going to get right into it and we're going to um, launch our game. We're on level two. And remember, I always suggest that you sort by suit and you're going to pick based on pairs. And in this example, there are no pairs. So you have to make some sort of assessment based on the 10 categories we have this year where you could play based on how many tiles you have towards each section. And as I said, the key to being not frustrated with the card is learning the categories. So you could start all the way on the left hand side and you could start with 2023. We have a two and a three, but we don't have a white dragon. So I'm not going to play there. We could play two, four, six, eight. We have two, four, six, eight, but only four tiles towards that. Like numbers, we have like numbers of sevens. We could use sevens. Addition hand, we don't have that. We need 
2 plus 2 is 4, or 3 plus 3 is 6. We don't have that. Quince, we don't have any jokers. So we're not going to play there. Consecutive run, always you can play in consecutive runs. So we'll skip that for a second. Uh, odds, we have 1, 7, 9, 9, 7, 3. Might possibly be an odds hand. Wins and dragons, we have two wins and one dragon. And 3, 6, 9, we have a 6, 9, 3, 9. So really, I could choose quite anywhere I'd like to play. It's not wrong or right. Everybody could possibly pick somewhere different. Let's sort by rank, meaning in numerical order, and let's see if we have a lot of high or low. It looks to me almost even. Um, so we could decide uh, where to play based on that. I uh, sometimes don't play Wins and Dragons unless I have uh, more wins, probably like three or more. I'm going to go back to sort by suit. So um, it's just what you're feeling. I don't know what I'm feeling tonight. I'm thinking three, six, nine. Or we could try, do we have a little run? We have six, seven, nine. We're missing an eight or eight, nine. We can keep the high numbers and get rid of the two, the four, and the three. Actually, I'm going to keep the three, get rid of the one. Okay, so let's um, go across now. We picked up an eight and a nine. So we have a run going. We can get rid of a three. And we have seven, eight, nine. We can get rid of this seven. And let's see what else. Um, might be a wind. Well, we got another eight. So we have a run going. Maybe I'll keep the win. Maybe we can play a run. And a run would be uh, three numbers. So maybe seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of the one. I don't think we need this red dragon. And let's get rid of the nine. Oh, we got back the west. So maybe we could play east and west with a run. We got this nine. That looks good. Oh, we got a pair of sevens now. Let's continue. Let's get rid of the eight, the six. And I don't think I'm going to play with these seven. I think we do seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of this seven. Picked up another west. That's a good way to go. Three, one, seven. We don't need these last three. I think our hand's pretty set. I think we're going to play east and west with a run, but um, we have three to get rid of. We can always keep the green if we think we want to play like eight, nine with green if the winds don't come in. So really, we could just get rid of two. You always want to have a backup in case your hand goes bust. We picked up the six again. We could keep it. And let's start whittling away and see where this hand brings us tonight. If you're on and you want to say hello or you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer. And thank you for joining me tonight. Let me lower my computer so I'll make sure you guys can hear me. The bots seem to call very early in the game. I don't usually do that. Four bam. Eight dot. One dot. Two bam. Call. Nine dot. So Wes is playing one, two, three, four. Red. Four crack. Three dot. Joker swap. Three crack. Joker swap. East. Okay, one of our east went out. Three dot. Three crack. Seven dot. North. Seven crack. Call. Five bam. Pay attention to make sure we can get that joker. Six dot. One dot. 
Thanks, Colleen. Hello, welcome. Seven dot. Four crack. Three crack. Five crack. Where are all the jokers tonight? Oh, we got another flower. We might have to switch hands. Uh, let's get rid of the six. And when I say switch hands, um, I'm thinking maybe a consecutive run, uh, line number three. One crack, six crack, green, nine dot. Okay, first green went out. Eight crack, one crack, one dot. So, mahjong. Wow, that was quick. Joe wasn't even in the running in my eyes. Congratulations to Joe. Look at all the jokers. One, two, three, four. He got the 2023 hand, uh, four flowers with 2023 with uh, dragons. Um, now remember the dragons do not have to be opposite of the number. It says any suit for 2023 with two pungs of dragons. Also, I wanted to start talking about, I'm working on a video that will post shortly about patterns. When you're learning different patterns, sometimes they're all over the card and it helps you when you're calling for things to remember if you need a pong or a kong. Let's look at what Wes was going for. He was playing the one, two, three, four. And then Agatha was playing three, oh, that little run, uh, number four in consecutive run, three, four, five, six, seven in three suits. Uh, we really weren't far into the game. There were so many, let's see how many. There was hardly any tiles. Maybe we went through a wall or two already or just starting the second wall. But um, there was lots of tiles left. He got this super fast. So um, congrats to Joe, and again, due to the fact that he had uh, five, uh, four jokers. So let's move on. Okay, let's sort by suit. And we have a pair of sevens. We have consecutive six, seven. Maybe we could play six, seven, six, seven, or... Um, Seven, eight, nine. Let's get rid of all these other numbers and let's see what happens. Um, maybe we could keep the five. Five, six, seven. And we'll get rid of the red. In consecutive run, there's only two dragon hands and they're both matching. One is concealed and one is um, opened and it needs uh, matching. And we have matching with uh, BAMs. We have a four, a four, oh, new pair with eights. So we can play six, seven, eight. Let's get rid of a five, a two, and a three. Let's continue and get rid of one, a west, and a two. We're gonna keep the green dragon and we're going to get rid of a three, a five, and I think we're going to play six or seven, eight. Let's get rid of this eight. Oh, good. We got the other eight. So let's get rid of the five for the four. And I don't think we're going to play with these green dragons. So let's get rid of that. Courtesy pass. We have uh, three tiles we could get rid of. Now, another thought process I just had was in Winds and Dragons, there's seven, eight in two different suits, but that would be a long way to go since we just picked up the one west. But we could keep it and we have three to pass. We did not pick up any additional tiles to help our hand. So we're into the game. This is the nine that we need if we do seven, eight, nine. Nine bam. Six crack. Three dot. Four bam. Six crack. Five crack. I'm gonna keep the eight. One, Always prioritize your discards. Call. Three dot. One bam. Three crack. One dot. 
four bam. Three crack. Four crack. So there are 80 tiles left. We don't know what's in them, so I'm not calling for anything yet. I'm waiting for my hand to develop to see where I would play. Three dot. Four dot. Nine bam. Oh, we're getting the wins. Maybe we can play that bottom hand. Let's start pulling away um, from either side of this. So let's get rid of the six bam. Six. Another west in that hand with uh, the bottom line and Winds of Dragons. We only need one west. West. Green. Three crack. Six dot. Two crack. East. Keep the two bam in your head so that you can do the exchange. Red. Oh, somebody just did it. One crack. Five crack. Five dot. There's a six, we already got rid of it. Oh boy, all the south just went out. It's all right, you can use jokers. All the north and south are going out, so maybe we're not playing that. Yeah, I think we're done with the um, wins. Because we're gonna play either seven, eight, seven, eight which is an consecutive run, or we're gonna play seven, eight, nine with flowers. And we don't need this white. So, north. So. Yeah, all the dragons just went out. Let's start getting rid of ours. North. Green. Five dot. Four bam. Doesn't look like anybody's playing with the winds. Five bam. Ah. West. We didn't need that anyway. Bam. Three bam. Five bam. Be nice for a seven dot, right? Oh, Joker, I'll take that. Five bam. Three bam. So we can call for every grouping. We can call for this. Ah! Torn it. I couldn't even talk yet. We could call for the sevens, we could call for the eights, and we can call for the nines, and we did need another flower to have seven, eight, nine. So we got Agatha, who was playing two, four, six, eight, with Kongs of twos at the end. Remember, these twos did not need to be twos. They could have been fours, sixes, or eight. This is line number two, two, four, six, eight, and a very nice hand she had. Then we had Joe, who was playing two flowers, seven, eight, nine. Um, he needed, obviously, some more eights to make this hand almost the same exact hand as us, but with different uh, suits. And Wes was playing um, six, eight, nine. I guess six, seven, eight, nine. He was missing all the sevens. We did have one but he didn't have any jokers, so his hand was really not quite developed yet. So um, the pattern um, in my hand and in Joe's hand is a pair, four of a kind, four of a kind, four of a kind, and those are on the card in multiple categories, so keep looking for that. This um, hand that Aga was playing, I don't think that there's another one quite like this, because this is two pairs and two singles. Um, this is unique to the card this year. I think it was on the card last year, actually. I know it was. So um, hopefully you remember this from last year. Let's start a new game. Sort by suit. We have nines, souths, and nines. One joker. We could try for a quint with winds, uh, the south wind, and nines and nines. Let's try three, six, nine, though, and we'll get rid of everything else to have a backup. Here's another six. We have a five and eight and get rid of the white. An eight. Now we picked a north. Now, um, 
in a quint, you would have to have the same numbers, like nines and nines. I think I'm going to just stick with um, three, six, nine and start getting rid of my wins. I don't have enough jokers for a quint. Of course, here I get more nines. <laughs> Now I am passing a second south on the second left, but I don't really want to get rid of anything else quite yet. Just looking for threes, sixes, and nines. Courtesy pass. Now we picked up some eights. We're going to get rid of one eight, a south, and another eight. We're into the game, and um, we have a bunch of three, six, nines. We're going to wait and see how our hand develops before we actually pick a hand. Prioritize your discards to ones you know you're definitely not playing, and then a maybe here with the red. We're not calling for anything until our hand develops slightly more. The matching dragon hand would be dragons with sixes. I don't think we're going to be using um, the red, but you never know. One red just went out, and we do need uh, just three, so it might work. And that was hand number six. Still not making any decisions. We'll go and make that decision with our next tile if it's a three, six, or nine. It is a three. So now let's look at the hands. Quite easily, we can play three, six, six, nine, the top one. Obviously, we're missing sixes, but we wouldn't need this nine. The second hand, we need a bunch of flowers, not playing that. The third hand, we need three and six in one suit, three and six in another with nines. So we could do that with this um, suit, get rid of all the sixes. The next one, we need two flowers with dragons. We don't have the flowers. We do have the dragons, though, um, but they need to be opposite of the suit, so they're not going to help us. So the dragons don't look so good for us. We can play three, six, nine with maybe threes and threes. That's a possibility. Or we could do nines and nines. Threes and threes are better because we have two, a, a pair of three bams. The bottom uh, line number six, we need the number three and the number nine with sixes and matching dragons in the middle. The only tile I don't think we talked about was this nine, so we can move that over, and I think that's the one we're going to get rid of. We could play the closed hand, which would be three, six, nine in one suit and three, six, nine in another, but that would mean getting rid of our pair. So I'm just a uh, process of elimination. I really didn't pick a specific hand yet. I didn't talk about this nine dot, so we're going to get rid of that first. Nine dot, five bam, seven bam, one bam. We picked up a flower, which now changes our game, because the one hand I said we couldn't play was with flowers is line number two and line number... Four. We can play two flowers. We need opposite dragons, so this isn't going to work. I don't think we're going to use the flower. We could play three, six, nine. I that's a stretch because that would mean getting rid of the sixes. I'm going to get rid of the flower. Flower. Six bam. South. Six dot. Picked up another three. This is looking at line number three. Three, six, three, six, nine. Let's get rid of the nine bam, which is now getting rid of the red also because that was the other hand I was thinking about. Nine bam. Five dot. Eight bam. Six. The hand with the dragons would have been the three bam, nine bam, Six cracks with red dragons. The hand that I'm looking at now playing is hand number three. You need two pairs, which we have one of the two pairs. Two 
So it would be 3, 6, 3, 6. We could call for the 3s. We can call for the 6s. And then it would be 9s. We can call for the 9s. I'm waiting for the 6 BAMs. One 6 BAM went out. That was it. You can keep this three. There is matching dragon, but it's only in line number six, but that's not all one suit. There is three, six, nine, nine, number four, but that's with opposite dragon. Let's get rid of the red. I don't think we're gonna use this. Oh, we could do three, six, nine with threes and threes. That would be good. Then we don't have to wait for a pair. Okay, let's look at it again. Um, we could play the easy hand up top, which would be three and six with sixes and nines, which looks great. We could play um, line number five, which would be three, six, nine, which would be getting rid of one six and one nine. I don't like that. I, maybe we'll just go to the top hand and play three, six, nine. Three, six, six, nine. Let's get rid of this three. Oh, good thing we didn't play that. We would have been hurting. <laughs> oh, we got our six. We can try for that three, six, nine hand. Uh, line number three. Three, pair of sixes, threes, pung of threes, pung of sixes, that means getting rid of all these sixes. I don't like that. I want this. I think I'm going to keep the sixes and the nines. Let's play line number one. So let's evaluate our threes and sixes. There's one six out. I don't think any threes went out or six dots, which means somebody could be playing them. Let's get rid of this three dot. Everybody's a little quiet tonight. Does anybody have anything to talk about? Eight dot five bam west mahjong. Oh boy, we have Agatha. I think everybody's one one. Or did Joey win two? Uh, Agatha has two flowers, two, three, four, and I think I don't remember who said it on here, but they said that these um, bots like to play consecutive run, and they sure do. Um, Wes is playing consecutive run, um, two, three, four, five, the hand, um, that's the pattern, three, four, three, four, or Pung Kong, Pung Kong. And then we have Joe who's playing two and eight with opposite dragons. And um, we're playing, I was looking to play the very first line in three, six, nine, which is Pung Kong, Pung Kong. So that's a pattern that's on the card. So I was getting rid of these threes and sixes here and dots and hoping to get the rest. Um, nobody else had them. So I was kind of, um, I guess there was one three over here. Wes and I were kind of fighting with that, uh, but I was ready to call. So I would have called for the next three bam that went out. And then we had to get all our six bands. So um, it's a bummer, but congratulations to Agatha. And let's start our next game. First Charleston. Sort by suit. We have fives and sevens. Where can you use fives and sevens? One, three, five, seven, nine. We also have ones and threes. And so we're going to get rid of six, eight, and Wes. Oh yeah, Shirley. Shirley said it helps to have four jokers. Yeah, <laughs> jokers do help when you go for the win. I agree totally. Jokers are definitely a helper. 
So I'm looking to do uh, some sort of one, three, five, seven, nine. So I'm not even looking at a hand. I'm just quickly going through and eliminating all of the evens and just keeping the odds. Now we have two dragons. So let's look at the dragon hands. Those are the first ones I eliminate if I don't think I'm gonna use them. Line number four is matching dragon. We have multiple different suits, so I don't think we're gonna play that. And line number five has opposite dragon, and the opposite would be white, because we have bands and cracks. So let's get rid of the red. Now, I'm thinking we could play the closed hand, which is the one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Let's get rid of the seven dot. I don't think we're gonna use that. We picked up a seven. We're gonna continue because we don't have our hand together quite yet. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the four and the green. And we could play one, three, five, seven, nine, but we don't have our pairs of ones or our pairs of nines. So I'm gonna start getting rid of from the um, top here, I'm gonna get rid of the nine. Oh, we got our nine. We can play that closed hand at the bottom. You know I like closed hands. So let's get rid of um, these three. Picked up an eight, two, and five. We can get rid of the eight, the two. I'm going to keep this five um, in case we play the second half of line number one. We need the opposite five. So it would be one, three, five, seven, nine. And I'm gonna get rid of the white this time. Pass. We have the seven, four, and four. We could do three. Eight. And we didn't pick up anything, but that was a good run. Oh, we like jokers. <laughs> so on the bottom line, it's, um, let's move the tiles around so I can help you see it. It's one, we need three ones one, three, um, in this case I have two threes, um, three fives, a pung of fives, and then we need three fives, a single seven, and a pung of nines. Um, I'm not gonna place my joker yet until I know I need it, and we can always change hands. Uh, maybe we'll play um, a different hand, which would be line number one, if we should get our pairs of ones and our pairs of nines. Oh, wow, that was fast. Those bots are something else. Eight crack. Two dot. Seven crack. Call. Two bam. Four bam. Seven dot. So Karen just asked a question in the chat. She said, odds are the most difficult for me. Is there a way to memorize? So I don't think you need to memorize any of these hands, but there are some tips I can give you about odds. So typically in odds, you're not collecting one through nine. There's only three hands that are gonna use the whole grouping from one to nine. And those are, if you have your card in front of you, line number one, that has from one to nine. Line number um, seven, that has from one to nine and line number eight has from one to nine. Everything else, Karen, is either low odds, so you're collecting one, three, five, or you're collecting high odds, five, seven, nine. So typically in odds, I rarely collect the whole run, meaning one through nine. Um, I usually collect either the low numbers, one, three, five, or the high numbers, five, seven, nine. And I think that's all you really need to know for that category. Um, otherwise, um, you know, let it play it out to see how it plays out. Um, again, don't, don't memorize the hands. They'll come to you eventually. Uh, the other thing you need to know um, is most of the hands, like one and three have to match, or five and seven, or seven and nine have to match, or three and five. So a lot of the times you want to make sure you have two matching suits together.
Colleen also says it's difficult, Karen, to learn odds. Um, believe it or not, it's so interesting. I see odds all the time over other things. Um, for me, when I first started learning to play, 369 was really hard. And I think just probably because it's all the way over on the right side, I never got to that category when I was picking a category to play. You can train yourself by practicing on I Love Maj or uh, any of the sites. They're all good. I personally love the I Love Maj. But you can train yourself just by practicing online. Oh, you're welcome, Karen. She said it was helpful. Thank you. Um, I think it's my turn. Sorry. Sorry for the pause. <laughs> So we look like we got all odds up here. We got Joe with nines, Wes with sevens. Oh, here's our red that we passed earlier. Oh, we picked up a five. Perfect. Let's get rid of the West. West. Three bam. Six dot. So three crack. West. Three bam. Don't think we're going to use the flower, but you could take a peek at the flowers. It would be flower. Uh, we don't have any ones, but it could be three, five. I don't think we're going to play that. Or we could play flower uh, five, seven. I don't think we're going to use the flower. The other flower is all one suit. We have two different suits. And then there's the flower hand with one, three, five, five, or five seven with nine nine which we aren't gonna play I'm gonna let the flower go flower four dot four crack two crack six bam five crack remember we're playing a um a closed hand right now concealed with a C on the far right I can't call for anything When I give up on a concealed hand, I will move to a hand within the category and um, maybe see where we would fit mostly in. No oh, bummer, we didn't get the joker, somebody else did. Be nice to get a nine or a one. Uh, is that the second nine bam? No, that's oh, it is the second one. Yikes! Three bam. Nine dot. We don't need it. Seven dot. So two crack. One crack. Okay, I think that's the second one crack too. Yes, here's one crack and here's the other. Eight dot. Two crack. Oh boy. Seven eight nine for Joe. Seven dot. Four bam. Joe needs the seven bam. Two bam. Eight crack. Uh, maybe we should have kept our flowers. There's the second one. East. Eight crack. North. Okay, north with three dragons. There's only one hand. It's line number three. East, five bam. East, nine bam. Oh, bummer with the nines. Nine dot, two bam, two bam, red. Not going to throw the south. I could switch to one, three, five, five. We can change hands, but that needs four flowers, which one, two, three, four, five flowers are out, and he probably has two. I'm not going to do that. Where else can we play? We can play. 
like numbers with fives. We could totally change, but we need two flowers. We can't play a flower hand because they're all gone now. We can play one and three with three and five. I don't want to throw this south. I think I'm going to throw this nine. Nine bam, three bam, six crack, flower, four bam, seven crack, nine dot, flower, one bam, four dot. Getting down, I have a feeling this could be a wall game. Oh, of course. Why would it be a wall game? <laughs> Agatha just won. She had north and south with uh, green and red. And I did hold that south because I did not want her to win. And um, she ended up winning because she had two jokers. Um, Joe was playing consecutive run, line number four. He was playing with uh, the one five pair of sixes, four, uh, three sevens, excuse me, eights and nines. And then Wes was playing the same type of hand uh, with the same numbers, just different suits. That's crazy. Um, but we were kind of on our way to that closed hand, um, but then it kind of got busted because I didn't want to throw this south. I guess I could have threw the five dots and still tried for this hand, but I still would not have won because I would not have thrown this south because I knew that Agatha needed it. And so I still would have ended up breaking up my hand. So let's start our next game. And that's good advice. Don't ever give somebody Mahjong. Um, let them get it themselves. Sort by suit. Oh, two jokers for us. Yay. But no pairs. <laughs> okay, we did already play 369. Um, can we play 2468? Let's try 2468 now. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Not by like that. Let's give a wind. Second. We're not into a hand yet, so um, keep whittling away. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Now let's look at the dragons. There are uh, line number five is opposite dragons with two and eight. We don't have any two and eight, so I'm not going to worry about that. Line number six is the closed hand with matching dragon. This is the only one with three, so let's get rid of the red. Three, five, nine, garbage. Five, ooh, we finally got a pair. It took us long enough. <laughs> and it's eight, so we're not going to use this green. We have a six, yay for us. And we have a five and a red that we're not going to use. We could get rid of this four, because here's another tip, girls. Um, Karen, maybe you would like this, and Colleen, uh, and hopefully everyone. When you're playing um, two, four, six, eight, two and four are always in the same suit. So I think, um, the only line that doesn't have two and four in the same suit is line number five, but it has no fours in it. So we're going to try to play um, two and four in the same suit. So this four is odd man out, and we don't need the red, and we don't need the five. So let's give away three. We have three that we're not going to use, and again... Uh, it doesn't matter which one you got rid of, but always prioritize your discards. We picked up a two, so now we have two and a four that goes together. Oh, now we have ones. I'm not going to let that throw me off, though. Let's get rid of it. One bam is not in the two, four, six, eight category. So one four bam and one two uh, two crack went out. So we have to keep track of that. Oh, there's a six, but I could call for it, but I don't even know what hand I'm playing yet, so I'm going to let it go. 
Here's your two and eight again, but I, I'm gonna let the one go. But two and eight, um, we don't have the winds. I mean, sorry, the dragons. <laughs> Karen said, I'm understanding more exactly what to remember with your tips, but now only if I can remember them. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a lot. But the more you play, um, the more it becomes second nature. Oh, these guys are too much. I might have to go back to level one. <laughs> so, oh, look at the jokers again, Shirley. Holy cow, four jokers. So they have five, seven, seven, nine, which is the odds. Um, five and seven in one suit, seven and nine in the other. This is that pattern that's predominant on the card this year. It's three, four, three, four. It's all over the card. Find it on the card and write them down. And then you have those hands almost memorized. Um, it's Pung Kong, Pung Kong. Very nice hand for Wes. And then we have Joe, who was playing that odd hand that we thought we might play um, last game, which is one, three, fives in the middle and seven nine he had no seven so he had a gap that's also a, another pattern on the card it's called the pyramid pattern you have your two pairs on the outside then your pungs or three of a kind and then your kong in the middle or four of a kind that is a pattern um, on the card also that shows up in line number one in consecutive run and line number one in one three five seven nine then um, we have two, four, six, eight, line number one. Um, he had a long, Agatha, he, she had a long way to go. She was collecting all one suit, but um, she didn't have very much at all. She wasn't really a good competitor at this game. We had a nice hand going. I did not pick a hand yet. I didn't even look at the card yet because I was waiting for another pair to push me towards another hand, um, which one to pick. And I wasn't ready to call for anything yet. So um, Wes just got it very early on. And it's with those um, jokers. <laughs> we have time uh, for at least one more game. Let's see if we can win one. Sort by suit. I think it's easier in your home games than with these bots. So it's only preparing you for an easier game. Um, we have two six. Four, six, two, four. We have no eights. We have a white dragon, though. We can try for 2023. Let's be crazy. Um, maybe we almost played all the categories. Let's try for 2023. Let's get rid of the seven, the nine, and 2023. One of these sixes. Let's go to the six, bam. Seven, eight, nine. There's that eight. Oh, we got a pair of fours. Let's get rid of the one. And maybe we can play two plus four. Two plus two equals four. Let's get rid of the four and the six. We picked up a two. We can push to play 2023 and just break up our fours. Let's push it and let's see, because we have the white dragon. We can play 2023. Let's get rid of the four. Oh, we got another two. So there is an example of you don't have to always keep um, what you get. You can push through it. Let's get rid of this two. Oh, we got another two. Maybe we could have played like numbers. If I play like numbers with twos, let's, um, I don't think we'll get that two back. We just passed it to Wes, but let's just do two tiles then and keep all our twos. Maybe we'll get more twos in the game. Let's see how this plays out. Are we going to play like numbers with twos or are we going to play 2023? Uh, 
Shirley's talking about the last game that Agatha didn't have any jokers. Yeah. Are you the joker keeper, Shirley? Maybe you have all the jokers. Oh, I'm liking all these jokers. We could be the keepers of the jokers. Oh, we could play two and eight with the dragons. Let's get rid of this two. So we have the opportunity to play 2023 with opposite dragon, well not opposite, just two pungs of dragons. Or we could play two and eight with dragons. So let's see how we can do that. So if we play 2023, we have flower, flower, we're ready to call. We have this, we're ready to call. And we have this, we're ready to call. We're missing our two crack. That's okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Have a feeling that's what we're playing. Otherwise, we can play two and eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's keep the flower. Let's play the um, 2023. Ah, so interesting. Joker swap, seven crack. Oh, we couldn't even get the Joker. Oh, boy. One crack. Oh, we have 2023 here. Perfect. Three crack. That's what I was hoping for. Now we're going to call for everything, whatever, anything comes out, we're going to call for it. East. Six bam. Two crack. Flower. Let's call for it. Put up our calm, right? We need four flowers. Call. West. East. Now we just need the green dragon North. or a flower to do exchange. Oh boy. Oh, yay for us. We're ending on a good note. Yay. <laughs> we got 2023 finally. So this was a good example. I had the pairs of fours. I did not um, use them because I had more tiles towards 2023. I had all those dragons. Um, I got rid of them at the very beginning. And then it was just between... Uh, two, four, six, eight, line number five with the dragons, two and eight. Um, we probably could have made that, but um, I think 2023 was just something fun to do for tonight. Um, I chose that just to pick a different category that we hadn't played. You can do this at home also. Push yourself to learn categories. So Karen, if you have troubles with one, three, five, seven, nine, get on and practice it and just play that category. See how many times... Uh, you can just play that category from the box. You should try that one time. We should just force ourselves to play one category the whole night and see how we can make it. Um, it would probably make me sad to give up on multiples because I like playing them, but it would be fun to see how many games we could win if we just played a specific category. Let's look at what everybody else was playing. We have Agatha who is playing three, four, uh, five, six. She had a couple jokers, but she had a, um, she was a little bit of a way. Joe was super close, um, although he called out right away. He had five, six, seven. He didn't have the eights yet. That was interesting how he was putting up um, all the groupings, but no eights. 
kind of bold on his part, I think, but it does make me play, um, you know, cautious in what I'm throwing. Wes had eight, nine, eight, nine. I love this hand. It's one of my favorites this year. I seem to play it a lot, um, repeating numbers. And that eight, nine, eight, nine hand is that also that same pattern of three of a kind, four of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind. So uh, take some time tonight or in the morning and write down all the uh, hands that you see, three, four, three, four, and learn that pattern for yourself. There's a ton of them. I think it's over 10. Um, I can't remember the exact number in my head. I have it written down somewhere, but um, it's really a great way to learn if you should call for three of a kind or four of a kind. And um, what do we got here? Shirley gave me a woohoo, yay. It's always great to end on that, Shirley, I agree. Karen also gave me a woohoo and congrats and thank you for everything tonight. And if you ladies any have, or gentlemen, I don't know who else is on here, any questions, please pop it in the chat when we're playing live or you can put it down below um, in the comments on any of my videos. I usually respond quite quickly to them. So if you have any questions about a video that um, you wanna watch, uh, I'm happy to answer them, even if it's a past live. I have tons of lives on here. Um, Karen, I think you could go back and look at the lives on um, the beginning of April. I have one just on the category of 13579. So you can maybe help yourself pick up some more tips there. I don't know what else I talked about, but I think it's mostly what I told you tonight. But it would be good to check it out again just to refresh of what I said. Um, check out all my videos. And again, if you enjoyed tonight, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. That is the best thing you can do for me to help support my channel. And it's free for you. <laughs> Um, and also, if you're a Canasta player, go head on over to Canasta Class, and I have lots of videos on there, and hopefully be putting up some um, other additional videos to watch, and also not possibly having a live there also playing Canasta. So um, I love games, and so I love playing. All right, everyone, have a good night. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Enjoy the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Good night.